Hey guys, this is Normal Mord, and this is a calculator that I'm working on. The input is 4 bit, aka 0 is 15. Um, there's addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, equal signs to get the answer, and reset to reset it or get the next number. So I'm going to show you each sum first. So let's say 14. So it's like this, like on a phone. Um, 14 add and actually we should see 14 add there um, next sum would be we'll say 4 so 14 add 4 is 18 uh, equals so should 4 appear there and 8 should appear there there's 4 and 18 so that's addition. So clear the screen. Okay. Um, let's do five. Wait a sec. Subtract uh, nine. Let's say I'll just show you it's on the screen. Five subtract nine. equals so 9 should appear in the box and minus 4 should appear in the answer box so let's change the minus is 4 so minus 4 and minus 9 yeah minus is the operation 9 is the number so that works so reset that Okay, so let's do multiplication. Let's do, um, I don't know, 10. Let's say 10 times by 12. waiting in between each button press because it does need a little bit of uh, waiting time so 10 times 12 should give you 120 and just wait for the thing to work it out there we are 120 um, and then finally it divides some move that to clear um, 13 I'm probably giving this too much delay by the way it probably doesn't need this much uh, 13 divided by 8 should give 1.625 if I'm correct 13 divided by 8 Shoot 1.625, and there we are. So yeah, that's it. Let's clear that. Um, oh, by the way, I forgot to say there is one limitation on the division. You must divide by a binary number. That is one, two, four, or eight. So these numbers here are the only ones you can divide by um, for it to work. One thing I just recently added was to allow negative numbers on the subtractor. So yeah, I've only just added that, but so I added this extra little panel here. So let's go into every bit in detail, f not in detail, but roughly. Um, this to here handles the user input. So you put one button in, it stores it here. If it's a one, it waits for another number. But if you press add, it will store the one. If you press the next number, it will store one plus uh, ten plus the next number. It's not plus, it's just, yeah. Um, okay, and then the input, and that works with both inputs, here's the first input, here's the second. Yeah, these are first, that's first, that's second, that's second. Um, this is where it's stored in this bit here, um, and that goes in the encoder, which turns the deanery, aka base 10, which is the normal 
number into base 2 which is binary uh, this is just loads of busing, I could make this more compact like I said and then depending on the operation so these pistons will go up depending on which operation it is so let's say we're doing the adder so all the wire will come into here this will lift up and it will go into the adder now I use dual XOR gates for a carry out to work it out so when one's on the output's on when the other one's on the output's on when none are on the output's off when both are on the output's off but it carries in and adds to the next one and there's a creeper there um, so yeah, so that's how it works, and then obviously the output is 5-bit because if you add the maximum of a 4-bit and another 4-bit, you get 30. So that's in the 5th-bit, so this is the 5th-bit carry-out answer. Um, ignore this bit, uh, that's just for the subtractor, which I should go on now. So the subtractor, what it does it reverses the uh, second input um, uses the two as a complement rule um, puts a uh, thing on here the extra one that's necessary for two as a complement same carry out just adding it um, if the answer's positive it will go through if it's negative it will reverse the answer like this through here send it back to the adder and then that's where this comes into play um, so if it's negative then it goes back into the adder and then the signals are sent to the screen to say it's a negative and changes the plus to a negative and enough about that uh, multiplication and the division is pretty much the same so you get your f eight inputs and you just multiply them all out you get all the answers, um, so this is um, 1, 2, 2, 4, 4, 4, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. Yeah, you get the picture. Um, and then you add them all together to get all separate answers. And then that just goes, feeds into the rest. The divide is the same thing, you just divide them and then add all the answers up. But um, it's really difficult in binary to get to divide by another number other other than the binary numbers so that's why I've done that then all they all the answers get bust into this um, these lanes so this is an eighth uh, quarter half one two four eight sixteen thirty two sixty four hundred twenty eight so they go into the decoder part one so the decoder the first decoder um, its job is to turn the binary back into deanery or base 10 or normal counting system whatever you want to call it so all the inputs go into here um, this one's longer because it's decimal it doesn't need to be very long then the next bit that turns it into tens units tenths hundredths and stuff like that that's what this big one here does um, I'm maybe thinking you could just turn that straight into the third one well from what I could tell, it would be more compact to do it in two separate ones rather than making one long one. So then the answers go into the third decoder, which turns the number into um, a seven segment. So then they all go and feed into here, which is the bottom one here. So here's the decimals. This data point is always on with a lever. Um, and then here's the next three and obviously that comes from the subtractor right directly um, and finally there's a fourth decoder that's not linked to the other three decoders which decodes the input from here straight over here which is what this massive thing here is for so that puts it in here and then the operation is just directly from this stored in a um, RS NOR latch and yeah that's pretty much it. Um, I didn't build all this by hand. Um, I done quite a lot, but most of the stuff like this, I just copied and pasted with MC Edit. A lot of it, like all these stuff like that, they all copied with MC Edit. Um, all I have to do is like place torches in certain places. Although all this is by hand. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. 
thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.